Reason number 247 why being an infectious disease epidemiologist makes you a Debbie Downer. So today I had my annual dentist checkup. I love my dentist, been going to them for a long time and they've been around for a very long time. So if you haven't gone for your annual checkup, this is your reminder. So if you've ever gone to the dentist, you know, you're sitting in the chair and then you look to your to your side and they have those those two tools. One is the, the sucky thing they put in your mouth that, you know, sounds a lot like Hannibal Lecter, like and then the other is that uh, spray thing that they put into your mouth to spray out and it sounds like my, my kid's white noise machine, like. <sighs> they, they work great as a team, you know, they spray and suck and spray and suck and gets it all out of your mouth and whatever they're rinsing and picking at. As you get your teeth cleaned by your dental hygienist, she, she, my dental hygienist, she's going through my mouth and, you know, th th like they always try to do, make the small talk of like, what do you do for work? And you know, I'm trying to be like, I, I study infectious disease outbreaks as, as the best I can. And I'm sitting there, getting my teeth clean, you know, with my mouth wide open, just thinking, you know, I wonder if the folks here know about uh, how the CDC is being consulted for an increasing number of outbreaks found in dental clinics over the prior few years. Saw this presentation from the CDC a few years back, but as, as the dental hygienist is spraying that water all throughout my mouth, you know, I'm thinking about the outbreaks that have been traced back to water and dental clinics. And water is not sterile for most of the dental procedures, uh, but there are CDC regulations on water quality, at least for now. And you have to be under a certain threshold of bacteria in your water or you have to disinfect it. And you also have to, as a dental clinic, check your water regularly to make sure that that bacterial count is low, be, is low because there's a risk of giving people bacteria in dental clinics or as you're doing certain types of cleanings or procedures. And there was one outbreak that I always remember that stood out to me. It was an outbreak, a pediatric dental clinic, where these kids were getting a procedure to, you know, fix some of the cavities in the baby teeth where they they get rid of the, the cavity tooth and they spray water and scrape away the, the part that's dead. And the water that they were using, they were, you know, they were of course spraying it into the kids' teeth. And a bunch of kids eventually developed really severe mycobacterium abscessus infections, which is a, a bacteria that's commonly found in water. Again, it's very common in water, but whenever you're chipping away at a teeth and exposing a lot of things and spraying water into it, it could cause an infection. And there were some very severe infections in these cases, and the CDC got involved, traced it back, did an investigation, and found that the um, amount of bacteria in this dental clinic's water was way too high. And they had said, you know, you have to start testing more. You have to have some type of disinfection system. So again, I'm just sitting there getting my mouth sprayed open. And fortunately for me, no, no cavities or anything. Just, you know, thinking about all the wonderful things that an infectious disease epidemiologist gets to think about when they do these everyday types of things. Anyway, have a great day.